Greetings, this is my channel, Seeking My Creator, this is Gundis. Um, I, haven't, I haven't published any videos in the past few weeks. I've been taking a six week training course and a trade skill. I passed it, just wait for my certificate to come in. And I'm looking for some jobs online and taking some interviews. So I've been, so I couldn't just publish videos and study like a year's worth of information at the same time. I had to do one or the other. Now, I don't really have time to completely do this video, but as you can see, I pulled up a YouTube uh, scroll that size to about there. All right, that sh should be good. All right. So, so this guy is a Native American, and he asks an important question. Oh, uh, like, why can't the regular African Americans get in any sort of justice? And they say, well, here's why. Cause you don't, and and the, and one of the people on the panel, say, it's because, you don't have any rights. For that, he just says it that way, in the in the kindest way possible. Now, this guy, was teamed up with the NAAIP for, for a couple, for like for like a few months. And over here, when you just type in NAAIP on my computer, this is like the first video that comes up. And they now call themselves FINA, but they're basically trying to do the same the same thing as the NAAP, which is to make a trust, to have both money and land set aside for people who are declaring themselves to be indigenous and and or Aboriginal. So over here in this video, he makes two very clear claims. First up is. NAAP tried to set themselves up as a leader over these different tribes, which none of them really liked. And then the reason they said they didn't like that is because one, NAAP is incompetent. And then they said, two, you know, they, they was fine with the incompetence. They could have come in there and, and, you know, provided support and cleaned that up. It was supposed to be working together as a group. But all through this video, to support the reason why they wasn't going to work with NAAP is because the head of NAAP didn't know his his tribe's culture. In other words, he wasn't formally a part of what they consider a tribe. So he's like, yo, use a Johnny come lately, NAAP, use these random people who, who suddenly realize you're you're indigenous and we don't we don't quite respect that. So because NAAP people wasn't wasn't all indigenous for years and kept their culture and history they they amounted to nothing and so that's basically what they're saying throughout this whole video is like the incompetence was one thing you know we could have let that slide we could have worked that out but we we really didn't we really didn't we really didn't care about them because it wasn't in our tribe they, they really wasn't a tribe in a sense no, we didn't really respect them in that in that sense. So in one way, it was like saying, "Well, we don't really see you as Native Americans, even though we even though we know you are." And over here in this video, this is like a two-hour long. This is a two, this is a two-hour and fourteen-minute long lecture, where they tell you about how all these different pieces of information about how they made Native Americans in, into regular black people. How they did not, how they paper genocided them into becoming black people, and they're like, oh yeah, that that's exactly what happened. Like most of these black people and Hispanics and all these people through America, they're actually Native Americans. And and then over here in this video, they're like, yo, we 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 don't want nothing to do with these Native Americans who lost their heritage. It's basically what they're saying. But this video has like a lot of historical gems all throughout it. But at the two, just around the two hour mark is where they ask a question about why the African American, why their rights aren't as, why it doesn't feel like their rights aren't as respected. And they say, well, you, you don't have any rights. All throughout the his, all throughout the legal history, you don't have any rights. Not at any point, not even now, and he goes on to explain it very clearly. So it, it's like it's sort of like a slap in the face because over here in this video, 
they want to reach out. They're saying, like, we was trying to reach out to the individual indigenous people who didn't know they were indigenous, but we're tribes, so we only deal with other tribes. And they're like, yo, like, F these individual people who, who just found they're indigenous. We don't want them as a part of our tribe. We're not recruiting people to our tribe. We're not going to spend the time to add new people to our tribe. We're only going to deal with people who are already tribes right now. So it's like a real slap in the face. But I don't like NAAP because, yeah, they are incompetent. And when they went before the UN, if you watch the video, because some of these people, these are some of the people who went with them to the UN, but they wasn't all in the cameras, cameras eye. They weren't all on screen. But when NAAP was started talking, it was like, whoa, 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 you said you was inviting us. But what NAAP did that pissed them all off is that NAAP used their name to support their claims. So it was like two groups of people who who are really who are really just dishonest. But watch both of these videos. You know the links up here. You can see the tile down here. And I say watch this one first. I like watch it around the two hour mark. And let's see. Like at the one hour and twenty minute mark, this one is speaks. Pure, pure gold. But I'm gonna do a longer video on, on each of these. Then I'm gonna do a video on Genesis four. But first, I gotta prep for interviews. All right. Have a good day.